The morning after, the night before, that game in the Champions League, Leipzig, United out, Europa League this year. There's so much to dissect from that game, but so many of you have been asking me my opinion on the Paul Pogba situation. So this video, it's going to be unscripted. It's just going to be my opinion on everything that's gone on with Paul Pogba, with Raiola, and whether or not I think Manchester United should be keeping Paul Pogba. Spoiler alert, I don't think we should because... I don't think Paul Pogba's worth the circus that he comes with. Pogba, when we re-signed him, it was Pog back. It was, we finally re-signed the player that we shouldn't have let go for a free, who became a world-class player at Juventus. And United fans were absolutely buzzing. He was the centrepiece in this new-look United team. And everybody thought he was going to blow us all away. And the reality is, is that he hasn't. And that he has absolutely no right for him. I don't care if it's him or his agent, because for me, that they're one and the same. If you have an agent like Mina Royola who has that much power in getting you into a club, you give that agent that much power to get you out of a club as well. He's just as important a part of Paul Pogba at United as Pogba is himself. That's what happens when you give an agent so much power. And as I said, Paul Pogba's not worth the circus. The thing that I would immediately compare it to is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. When he wanted to join Real Madrid, he always said it was his dream, but he went a bit further. He said he was a slave at United. He, he really started to speak out about Fergie, about United. And, and United fans were like, what are you doing, Ronaldo? But it was Ronaldo. It was arguably the greatest player ever. And we put up with it for another season. Paul Pogba... Are United going to do that with Pogba? No, hell no, they're not. And it's not as if we haven't already backed Pogba because it was Pogba versus Mourinho at one point. And United backed Pogba. Mourinho left the club. He's not going to get that same treatment twice. And as I said, that the juice is not worth the squeeze with Pogba. And Bruno Fernandes' arrival at the club, that, that was the indicator that United really needed that it's really just not worth it with Pogba because Bruno's putting in the sort of performances week in, week out that you are allowed to expect from a player of Pogba's calibre. If you really want to be the biggest fish in the pond, you have to play like it. And Pogba, unfortunately, is a man who, over his United career, is just as capable of a 4 out of 10 as he is a 9 out of 10 every single week. Apart from that three-month period at the start of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's reign where, let's be honest, everybody was playing fucking brilliantly. Pogba was the best, one of the best players in Europe at that point. But that consistency has just eluded him throughout his entire career. And he has his moments. He's a fantastic player. The one that all, will always stand out was the 3-2 uh, against City where he inspired that turnaround. And it, look, against Leipzig when he came off the bench, he played well. He was probably our best player. But that's probably because of what's happened before with Raiola on the eve of our biggest game of the season, those comments coming out. Now, apparently, uh, that interview was recorded earlier and the media released it. So it was more the media trying to derail United. But the fact of the matter is that Mineroola still gave those comments. And also the fact of the matter is, Paul Pogba said nothing. And his silence is deafening. And again, Bruno Fernandes by comparison. When the rumours came out that there was a bit of a... a a disagreement between Solskjaer and Fernandez, and that their relationship was tetchy behind the scenes. Bruno came out and said, "Stop lying. There's nothing wrong. Move on. Nothing to see here. Killed it there. Pogba could have done the same on a million occasions. He chose not to. He chose the silence. He chose to let Raiola lead the media circus. And unfortunately for Pogba, that is exactly why United fans have lost all patience with him." And quickly before I move on, I want to do a big shout out here to eToro, who are sponsoring United People's TV throughout December. Thank you very much to eToro. If you don't know who eToro are, they sponsor plenty of Premier League clubs and they're an investment platform. And they've got something really, really easy for anybody who wants to get into investment. It's called Copy Trader. You can go on there and just copy the investments of the top performing traders on the eToro platform. No hassle, no extra costs. You just follow their investments automatically. It's the easiest way to get into investment and using maybe your money smartly right now, given what's happening in the markets. But I'm not going to be the one to give you investment advice. All I'm going to say is 
the copy trader platform is very simple very easy to use there's a link in the description follow that you could enjoy it i think you will so shout out to eToro for sponsoring United People's TV this December. And it, it feels like United are sort of getting dragged through the mud here with Raiola and Pogba. And we, we effectively have been the whole way through. Remember, remember the circus that there was when we were signing Pogba? Lasted all summer long. Will he come? Won't he come? Will he come? Won't he come? Ah, eventually he came to a huge fanfare which ultimately his United career has not lived up to. And right now United are getting their name dragged through the mud because a player and an agent are just doing what they want to, saying what they want to, and trying to force a move away where they want to. United needs to take control of this. I don't know how they can, and United, I don't think at the moment, can take control of anything. With everything that's going on on the pitch, it... it I wouldn't say we're a club in disarray because we're not. We're a few points off top in the Premier League. But my, 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 there are so many questions to really ask. And I, the, the issue for United is that I think Pogba's contract expires in 2022. We, ex, we triggered a, a one-year extension, I believe. But that means that this summer we need to sell Paul Pogba. Or we risk losing him for a free for the second time. And as dumb as we are as a club, I don't think we'll make that mistake. So it means this summer Paul Pogba has to go. And I think Paul Pogba has to go. As I said, it's just not worth the circus. Pogba, he's a, he's a brilliant player on his day. Every United fan knows it, and every, every fan of world football knows it. But you look at Paul Pogba with France, and you look at Paul Pogba with Manchester United over the last few years, and they're almost incomparable players. He seems so happy with the French team. Probably because he is happy with the French team. But just on a personal level, my opinion, like ignoring all the facts and what Raiola has said and what Pogba has said, I'm done with Pogba. I'm done. Uh, there's just been too many occasions, too many international breaks where he speaks out, too many times where Raiola's spoken out, and too many matches that have passed Paul Pogba by for me to try and defend him and to try and defend what has happened this week with Raiola, with the comments, right before our game against Leipzig. It's fucking disrespectful that those comments came out then. As I said, I think the media are just as responsible as Raiola because by the sounds of it, that interview wasn't recorded that day. It was just released that day by the media to try and derail United and maybe it worked. But I, I'm just done with Pogba. I'm done with the circus of, of waiting for him to say something else, of, of, of waiting for him to come in and, and put in a game like West Ham that gets you excited again, but then goes and puts in another performance like he did against Arsenal, I think, where you just think, what the fuck are you doing? How are you worth that much money? That is just despicable football from a player who is so cultured and so good and so well-respected around the world. I'm done. United need to move on. United have shown with Bruno Fernandes that signing the right players for the right reasons brings in a different player altogether. And Pogba was the right player, brought to United, but maybe he came back for the wrong reasons. Maybe he really didn't come for the same reasons that Bruno Fernandes came. And, and let's be honest, judging by their performances, I don't think he did. So I'm done with Pogba. I think Pogba should be sold. I think Pogba needs to leave this summer. I think United need to draw a line under the Pogba th transfer, the second transfer, and say, look, it didn't work out the first time. And as try as we might the second time, it largely didn't work out either. Uh, I don't know what you think about this Pogba situation, but it's just my opinion on it. As I said, I wanted to do a bit of an unscripted video, just kind of wanted to say what I wanted to say because it's too, too big an issue really to ignore. And I'm just bored of it. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of the circus at United, whether it comes to managers, whether it comes to players. I just want 11 Bruno Fernandeses. That's quite a lot to ask for given how good Bruno is but that attitude that Bruno has it, it carries through the team and when Pogba was the, the main player it, that attitude carried through our team as well and for now United have to wash their hands of Pogba let him move on I'm sure he'll go on to be a great player elsewhere as well whether that's Real Madrid whether that's back at Juventus I don't give a shit but I just don't want Pogba at United past this summer my opinion you may disagree I've given my own reasons but if you disagree and you want him to stay let me know with your reasons in the comments below